Hi and welcome to AFTV. We just lost 2-1 here at the Emirates Stadium to Brighton. It never looked like, for me, we were going to score. Even though we got one, but that was in the last dying minutes yeah, of the yeah. game. For me, it didn't mean anything. Really bad today from the boys. Yeah. You, what, do you, what do you think of today? Um, first of all, I'm sorry to every Man United and Spurs fan I've bantered over the last six months because now it looks like it's not over, but it's, it's n not nice yeah. at all. Um, I think for me, obviously we praise Arteta. Now it's time to criticise him. Mm. Um, I don't think, especially with the way we work through our midfield, one of them's injured, you don't take out the other one and mm. put him in a different position because you, you mess up the whole fluidity and the rhythm yeah. that we've developed so far. So I think for me, obviously, I know he doesn't trust Tavares, despite saying what he said, you can clearly yeah, tell that. You can, one, yeah, you can tell he doesn't trust him as a left back at the mm. moment, which you know is understandable. But you don't take out your midfielder as who sits in the deep role just to accommodate that. You either switch to a three, which we've played this season already, or as bad as it sounds, you play Saka at left back, which I don't agree with. I feel like you should just trust Tavares. Mm. You know, if you're not going to learn as a player. Yeah, there is a player in Tavares, though, right? Because yeah, there's a lot of fans. Time. We saw, yeah, we saw, sorry, there's time. a lot of fans that, that, you know, praising him, decided with um, confused whether to say, you know, Tini's going to struggle to get his place yeah. back in the side because of his of the form back um, yeah. in the start near the start of the season. So there's definitely a player in there. Yeah, there's, there's 100% a player in there. We've seen it. Yeah. Um, but again, you don't, you don't mix up too much. We're, yeah. we're getting into nine games left of the season yeah. it is not time to switch players and bring him from different places and stuff like that but anyway this Brighton team as much as they've they've got one goal in the last seven they've lost six out of the last seven there's a good team there as well so you know they they came here and they had a good they had a good day yeah. because you can clearly tell the fans are up for it and <laughs> they've been they've been a credit to Brighton they're a good team and a lot of fans have called for Graham Park to be sacked and stuff like that I think today they saw we saw that he's got that quality but you know that is a very good Brighton side as regardless of their form they're good and now for us you're giving them a lot of credit it's Brighton it's Brighton, Brighton but we didn't beat them earlier in the I mean, season I, I, we, beat them early, know, we didn't true, beat them earlier in the season they beat us in lockdown mm. so you, you say you say oh we're giving them the no credit. we drew against them and then we in the start season we beat them at the, the, the end of the season credit where credit's true because yeah. uh, fair to time Marpe didn't pay either so he couldn't have a go at him but um <laughs> You know, we have to look at it like this. Yeah. We have nine games now. Yep. Chelsea, Spurs, yep. United. Yep. Before this kind of fixture list started happening, we had the fourth hardest schedule. It has become the hardest now because it's us. Yep. We are now having to go to Spurs away on the 12th, which is going to be a, it's going to be a good day, but it's going to be a scary day. We've got United here and we've got Chelsea away. Mm. you got a smile on your face. Are you confident for those games? I have a smile on my face. If I don't, I'll cry. <laughs> I'm not that so, You know how it is. Yeah. So... I think this is now where Arteta has to show us what he learned under Guardiola and what his man management's like. And if we fail in the summer, it all comes back to January. Why did you not go out and buy another player? I understand if the funds weren't there and I understand if you didn't want to bring players in. But if you're not going to trust your backup left back, if you're going to bring in a midfielder in Sambi Lukonga who, terrible first half, better second half. And Odegaard again today, he looked off, he didn't look the best. But if you're not going to bring in players in January, in May, you're the only person who's going to be ruining your mistakes. And if we have to listen to the Europa League anthem this year, next year, sorry, whoa, whoa. Cha no, we don't do that, man. Killer. I, it's a killer. So I want to be listening to Champions League, but if we're going to be playing like that, then, then there's no need. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.